Hi guys, so um, today I thought I would do a baby name video because I like watching them and well I might as well do one. Um, plus I have a baby that I'm going to be needing to name in, I don't know, two and a half months. Um, okay, so um, yeah, random thing, I love birds and I've been actually wanting to compile this list for a while and film it. Um, because there's not a lot out there, so I thought I would share some baby names inspired by birds. Um, so it's not, you know, some of them might be a little bit adventurous for some people, um, but you know, it's not like this is a new thing to name your baby after a bird. Um, I mean, the names that pop in my head is super common are Robin, Raven, um, the name Birdie that used to be popular a long time ago, so that was kind of fun. So I'm just going to go through. I have 10 boys' names and 10 girls' names to share with you, and these are in no particular order. Um, okay, first name for a boy I have is Drake, and if you don't know this, Drake is what you call a male duck. The next one for a boy I have is Sparrow, and... Um, I really think this is a fun name. This is what, um, who is it, Nicole Ritchie and what is her husband's name? Oh, sorry, I don't remember, I can't remember his name. Um, I can't remember anything though right now. <laughs> um, Nicole Ritchie and her husband, they named their son Sparrow and a lot of people made fun of him for it, but I actually think it's a pretty cool name for a boy. Next name, there's, I've heard two different ways to pronounce this. Um, Jager or Jager kind of like a ja sound. Um, this is a type of, it's kind of, it's a like a gull type bird. Um, they live near the water. Um, so if you're adventurous, maybe you'd go for Jager for a boy. I think it's kind of cool sounding, or Jager. I don't think anybody would know to say Jager though. So um, Jager. Um, another name is Teal. Now this, I think is unisex, because I could see a girl named Teal. Um, this is a type of a duck, a teal, just like the color. Might be kind of cool for a middle name too, teal. Um, next one I have for a boy is Phoenix. Um, this is a mythical bird, but still kind of cool, Phoenix. Um, I tend to think of Phoenix, Arizona, so I wouldn't use it personally, but I think it's a nice name still. Talon. I know of somebody who named their kid this. Um, so Talon would be after, you know, the bird's talons. <laughs> so that's kind of cool for a boy if you want something a little bit more edgy, Talon. Another one, this one I think is also unisex, is Tawny. It'd be cute on a girl too, Tawny. Um, this, sorry, I'm getting a text message. Um, whew, this is a type of an owl, a Tawny owl. So Tawny is pretty cool sounding for um, a boy or a girl. Next I have, I'm going to say this is unisex as well, starling. Um, this is a, these birds are kind of funky looking, they're like kind of black iridescent, they kind of have like big eyes, um, but starling I think is kind of a cool name, especially if you're not as into these for a first name, it'd be fun to do it for a middle name, you know, go more adventurous with the middle name. Um, it reminds me of the name Sterling, which I really like that name actually a lot for a boy, um, but Starling. Next I have, this one is not so adventurous, it's Brent, and this is after the Brent Goose. And lastly, for boys, I have Falcon. Also, you're going to want to be a little bit more adventurous, but I think Falcon is pretty cool, very cool for a boy. Um, oh, sorry, I cannot breathe anymore. So that is what I have for boys. Now let's go on to girls. So for girls, I have Dove, just like the bird. I knew a little girl with this name. I think it's very cute. So Dove. Um, next one I have is Kestrel, which I really think this is a very cute name for a girl, Kestrel. Um, it's a type of hawk, I believe. It's a hawk. Yes, a Kestrel hawk. Super cute. Very cool name for a girl, Kestrel. Next I have is Wren, which is getting a little bit more popular, but it's so sweet. I like that name a lot as well, Wren. After Wren, I have this one. I tried to kind of do ones that were specific to birds and didn't necessarily mean bird, but 
the couple in here. Um, Paloma. Paloma is very pretty. Um, that's Spanish, and that means dove. Next, I have is Phoebe, which is actually a type of bird. If you um, Google a Phoebe, there's this cute little, they're pretty small. I can't remember what color they are, but um, I think they can be kind of loud. <laughs> but Phoebe is a type of bird. After Phoebe, I have Lark. Lark, I think, also could be unisex. I could see a boy lark or a girl lark. I think it's pretty cute um, either way. Um, and again, I really think a lot of these would be great for a middle name if you didn't want to do it for a first name. This is probably the favorite, my favorite one that I actually just discovered today, and that is a daily. It looks kind of like, I think a lot of people might pronounce it a deli, um, but it, there's technically an accent mark over the first E, and so that would make it um, pronounced a daily. And this is after the a daily penguin. So if you are a penguin lover, how cute would that be to have a little girl named a daily? I think a daily is very sweet. Um, and I would put it up there on my list, but I, I'm, I don't think my husband would like it. So um, yeah, so a daily. Next, I knew a little girl with this name too, Peregrine. Peregrine is a type of falcon, and maybe I think Perry would be a nickname. You want to be a little bit more adventurous, I guess, for that name too, but Peregrine, that's pretty cute. Next I have is Avis, which actually is Latin. It's Latin for bird, but I think there could be some negative connotations with that name just um, because of the car rental company, Avis, that's, and I do think of the Avis car rental, so I know I can't be the only one, but if you don't think of that, it actually is a nice sounding name, Avis. It's kind of an alternative to Ava, I guess. Um, this one, this one I knew a little girl, I used to babysit her, and her name was Rosie Finch. Two, you know, two names, Rosie Finch, it's a type of finch, it's a Rosie Finch, and I always thought that was a pretty cool name. A lot of times um, people, you know, would probably shorten it down to Rosie, but um, Rosie Finch, that's super cute. Um, fun if you're, you know, wanting something a little different from the usual, you know, Robin and Raven names out there. Um, the only other bird name that I can think of that I actually heard of a little boy with this name is Owl. I think that it would be very adventurous to name your child Owl, but, um, you know, yeah. So that's what I have, 10 boy names, 10 girl names all inspired by birds. I will say that one of these names is on our short list. I'm not going to say for which sex. <laughs> um, but one of these names is on our short list and uh, I'm hoping we get to use it. But um, let me know if you like these type of videos. I'd be happy to do more baby names. I, I love watching these ones. Um, like this video if you want to see more like this. Leave a comment below. What, do you know any bird names that I you know, forgot to mention, there's so many bird names. I tried to get ones that were not super common. Um, but yeah, so that's what I have. I'll do a quick belly shot. Oof. At tw almost in the third trimester. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.